My cluster concept is a game changer. If you want to know how to quickly and easily update your wardrobe for spring or pack for a trip, stay tuned. I'm gonna introduce you to my cluster concept and show you how you can quickly build a spring capsule wardrobe. Hey, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so that you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned because we've got a good video today. If you have not heard of my cluster concept in the past, I will link a couple of the other videos I've done on this concept in the description box below. But basically, it's a system that allows you to build a wardrobe easily, efficiently, affordably, and to use that that mini wardrobe, the mini cluster, as a building block for your entire wardrobe or your entire seasonal wardrobe, your entire professional wardrobe, your entire spring, summer wardrobe, whatever you want. So basically a cluster breaks down like this. It is three tops, two bottoms, and a jacket. If the three tops, two bottoms, and a jacket all go together, you've got 12 outfits. Um, I believe that's 12 outfits. And, and then if you add a second cluster on top of that, a second collection of six pieces with the same breakdown, three tops, two bottoms, and a jacket, then you're going to have multiple outfits. Your wardrobe will grow exponentially. And so it's such an easy concept to work with because you're only looking at six items at a time. And it really makes building a capsule wardrobe so much more efficient and so much more doable for you on your own at home when you're not working with a stylist. So I build capsule wardrobes for clients all the time. Some of them are 37 items. Some of them are 54 items. Some of them are 120. I mean, you, you know, you can have a capsule wardrobe whatever size you want and whatever works for your lifestyle, your budget, all of the things, your space. But when you're looking at either traveling or updating your wardrobe for a season or um, trying something new, maybe you're, you're feeling like, hmm, you might have a little bit of boho style and I want to explore that part of my personal style or I want to explore a minimalist part of my personal style, whatever that looks like for you. You. Um, a cluster is a great way to update, refresh, um, try on something new, try out a new, um, a new you, a new, a new style, a new silhouette, a new anything. So clusters are just uh, game changers. And for the women that I've worked with and the women that I've taught this concept to, they have said it has really, really changed the way that they shop and that they build the way that they build their wardrobes. Again, if you see that cluster, those six pieces as a building block, you can you can grow your wardrobe as quickly and, and as, as large as you want or keep it as minimal as you want using this concept. So let's get started. The very first step that you're going to do when um, when you're building a cluster is you want to pick a favorite store. You want to pick a favorite store. Whatever store that you typically shop at, you want to pick your favorite store to build your cluster. Now, choosing one store for a cluster makes it really easy because stores tend to have colors and patterns that are designed to work together for a season. Um, White House Black Market and Loft and J. Crew and Talbots, all the stores are going to have their own colorway, their own patterns, their own look for the season. And so if you're just working with six pieces, using one store to choose those six pieces is going to ensure that everything has the same colors, the same patterns, the same mood, the same feeling, and will really work together seamlessly. It just cuts the legwork out for you and it makes your life so much easier. Do I recommend buying your entire wardrobe from a single store? Probably not. This is a building block of your wardrobe. Now, granted, if you're really a, a Southern preppy person and your whole wardrobe is Lily Pulitzer and Draper James, then fabulous. Or if you know you're really a J. Crew girl, wonderful. But for most of us, I think we're going to want more variety than one retailer. But for a cluster, one retailer is where it's at. It just makes your life so much easier. The second step is to find a patterned piece at that store. Ideally, it should be a patterned um, piece that is clothing. And I mean, you can, you can of course choose a scarf to base your cluster on, but a patterned piece that is going to be part of every single, um, you know, 
the foundation for your cluster is going to be a lot easier if it's a top or a jacket or a pair of pants. So it's going to be one of those three items. It's going to be one of those categories, top, bottom, or a pair of um, tops, bottoms, or a jacket as the, um, the pattern piece in your wardrobe. Okay, so that's going to be your second step. First step is to pick a store. Second step is to pick a pattern that you love. And then the third step is to use that pattern and the colors in that pattern as the inspiration for everything else that you pick for your cluster, right? So you've got now a color palette. The pattern has a color palette in it. You can study the pattern and use that as the inspiration for everything else you're gonna choose in your cluster. So I'm gonna show you how it's done with one of my favorite stores and that's Bowdoin. So Bowdoin has amazing prints. They are known for beautiful, colorful, happy, I mean, just beautiful prints. And I spotted right away, I was in love with these azalea printed linen pants. They're just beautiful. I love the hot pink color. I love the pattern. I love everything about them. These are, they just make me so happy. So these printed linen pants and azalea with the decorative blooms just spoke to my heart for spring, summer. So that is going to be the pattern, the print that I'm going to use to build my entire cluster. And so because that's a pair of pants, that's one of the bottoms, right? That means I need three tops, another bottom and a jacket that's going to go with this colorful pair of azalea printed pants. So the first thing I did was I chose the matching printed cotton sweater also um, in the azalea with the decorative blooms. So this printed cotton sweater together with the pants looks like almost like a one piece outfit. It could almost be like a, you know, if the, if the pants were a skirt, it would be like almost like a dress, but with the sweater and pants together, it looks like this polished, yes, it's absolutely matchy matchy for those of you who are like, isn't that matchy matchy? But you're wearing the same print head to toe um, in this really intentional and fun way, absolutely you can do it. So this print, printed sweater and these printed pants together are going to be one of the outfits that's going to end up in my cluster. And I absolutely love it. So the first thing I did was choose um, a, a, another piece in that same pattern. So that's an option for you. You can choose that second item, the top or the bottoms in the same pattern as the pa original patterned piece. Then I decided to really kind of quick, uh, closely look at the colors in the pattern. So we're seeing yellow, we're seeing red, we're seeing blue. Um, we're seeing green. We're seeing a lot of different colors in this pattern. It gives me a lot of fun room to work with and you know room to play with. So I decided that the next piece should be a neutral colored top. I decided to pull the white from the pattern. And of course, white would work even if there was no white in the pattern. But there's a little bit of white in this pattern. And I chose this cut work high neck shirt in white. Um, it, it's beautiful. It's got a cut work detail. It's, um, it's just a, it's a it's a pretty blouse for spring, summer, and it's very, very versatile. So it will go with beautifully with those pink azalea pants I've, that I've also picked. Then I decided, since I had so much color and pattern going on already with the sweater and the pants, I would choose another neutral top and I chose the strappy halter neck linen top in navy there is navy in the pattern and I think I thought that this would be a different shape different silhouette different um, you know bearing your shoulders level so we've got a, a long sleeve top we've got a sweater and now we've got a strappy top so they fill three different roles in terms of tops in your wardrobe so love this navy halter neck linen um, strappy top and I think it's perfect again with those pants it will give it a completely different look then I decided, okay, now I've got three tops. I've got the navy top, I've got the white top, and I've got the printed sweater. Now what bottoms would go really well with all three of those tops? So I've got a lot of options here, right? I could go with denim, I could go with jeans, I could go with white jeans, I could go with navy pants, I could go with you know red or um, green or pull out one of the other bold colors in the, in the patterned sweater. But I decided to go with this kind of golden rust brown color in a chino skirt, kind of like a, a basic denim skirt. This comes in white or off-white as well, but I really thought that this brown, this golden brown color paired beautifully with the tops, the sweater, and the whole cluster as a whole, and just really gave um, a little bit more interest. So again, 
in this um, cluster, I'm really keeping the color mostly in the bottoms. The tops are neutral with the exception of the printed top. So it's always easy when you're when you're easier when you're building a cluster or building a capsule to decide where you want color and pattern and where you want solid. Now, if I were to add more pieces to this cluster, if I were to add a second cluster, that printed top would limit my options a little bit because I wouldn't be able to pair it with other printed bottoms necessarily. So keep that in mind. If you wanted to do all solid tops and all patterned or colorful bottoms that's a great uh, strategy for a cluster as well okay so now I've got both of my bottoms I've got three tops and then I decided I wanted to add a jacket now one of the jackets I could have easily added to this would have been maybe like a neutral khaki trench that would have been beautiful um, and easy to wear with all these pieces I could have also added a navy trench I could have added um, even a yellow trench if I wanted to, or a white jacket. But instead I thought, because there's so much fun and there's so much interest happening in this cluster already, I would keep it really simple. And I added this classic denim jacket in their darker blue, because I, I like the way that that picked up with the navy. So the classic denim jacket, pairs well with the halter top, it pairs well with the sweater, pairs well with the white cutwork top, pairs well with both of the bottoms, and it's the final completer piece in our six piece cluster capsule wardrobe. So I'm gonna pop up the way the different outfits look here so that you can see them and really encourage you to try this process yourself. You can do this with any store. Pick a pattern, start with that pattern. Look at the color palette and choose your color palette from that pattern. And then pick the other pieces accordingly. Limit, ideally, um, especially if you're a beginner, limit your pattern and color to one of the three categories, either tops, bottoms, or jacket. And it's going to give you the maximum versatility. Because again, when you're adding another cluster on top of a cluster, on top of a cluster, you're going to have exponentially more options in your wardrobe and the more versatility you have the better off you will be so something to think about you, that's not a hard and fast rule that you've got to keep color and pattern to one area of the cluster but it definitely helps with that versatility so when I choose another cluster to add to this I will keep the pieces that I already have in mind and the new pieces that I add will work with the first cluster to create multiple outfit options and possibilities so I hope that this was helpful to you that you can see it just what uh, this is kind of a quick video but just showing you one store and one pattern and how that can be the springboard for an entire spring wardrobe update now I'd love to see what you guys come up with what stores you'd like to see clusters from I'm going to be doing a of course, I have a blog post for every video. And so I'm going to be showing you and breaking this down for you a little bit more in the blog post, showing you all the different outfit options and giving you a couple of other examples from a couple of other stores. So I hope you enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. It means so much to me if you subscribe and join us here. We have the best time. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. It lets you know when I upload new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And of course, hit the like button if you like this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.